Matthew Johns, who's been a staple on a Tuesday and a Thursday, Brian, mm. he's about to chime into the back line. In fact, we're chiming into his back line right now, and he's on the line. G'day, Matthew. Uh, sugar. Fletch, how are you, boys? Tourists, Brooksy, what's happening, oh. boys? Hey, what a season. Oh, what a season. season. What a season. What a great grand final. Mm. What a great yeah. last four days uh, we've had together, and um, I'm feeling a little bit vague are you? at the moment. Yeah, I don't you're know good how you're yesterday. feeling. I don't know how you're <laughs> feeling, Matthew. Yeah, vague yeah. to say the least. Mm. Mate, I've, I was under a rock for a few days. I've just crawled out. <laughs> <laughs> Not Dwayne Johnson. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, Bo Ryan's going good, though. Oh, yeah, mate, I was flying, watching him last flying. night. I was watching yeah. him last night. Okay. Yeah, Speaking mate, of the going great, Every time I see the yeah. rock. Um, what what did you think, Matthew? What did you think of the uh, of the GF? Oh, uh, look, Fletch, it was uh, as we expected. The two most disciplined sides, disciplined defence, great defensive sides, and it was just, mate, I loved it. It was, it was just an old fashioned arm wrestle. Um, uh, and Penrith, you know, look, the way they held their nerve. I think for the last, I don't know how many years now, first try scorer, they go on to win the game, but mate, Penrith didn't even blink. They just just got on with things and just some of their their things, like some of their planning. I mean, the, the example, we spoke about this last week, right, with the Talakai try. When they do, when Talakai committed to a to an attacking shape and they called it an obstruction when they went on their left and he was quite animated after the game, Ivan. He said, I'm having a lot of anxiety. I'm going to have a lot of anxiety about that decision through the week uh, because it was the wrong decision, and it was. And I said, there is nothing surer. They're teeing up a shape again for Nick Mooney, and they did it. The the, the, uh, the uh, ball to Alamotti, who mm. flicked it around the back and the long pass to Taruva. They went there, and they scored again. That's just the way they choreograph things. They go through their sequences, and they synchronise it so well. Just, yeah, four in a row. What unbelievable side. Fantastic to watch those blokes. Boys, do yourself a favour, and anyone who's on social media, go to the Panthers' social media, and they show this clip of that exact play at training. Mm. So it's clear yeah, he goes right. to the left-hand side. He hits Alamotti, who turns his shoulder in, ready for the pass, and identically, it switches to the game play. So it's them training to do it. Yep, you got to see it. It, it is, well, it is but, unbelievable. But don't footage. you think it's ironic that, that that's a Melbourne Storm move? Because yeah. remember Billy used to yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they've used their. I know they've used their own ammunition on well, on the uh, on the Storm. Well, Cooper and I just did the backstage podcast. We're, ha- we're talking about the, the Liam Martin try, and I said, "Do you think it was you know, pre-organised?" And Cooper said, "Well, he said if you look at the end on." He said, Jerome gets the ball and he goes one way and Nathan spots something and he, he yells their boss call, he said, which is hot. I said, well, how did you know that? And he said, mate, I just read his lips. He said, we, yeah, everyone, a lot of people use hot. Yeah. He went hot, straight, and of course he had Sean Bloor in front of him, who was first grand final, first uh, semi-final series. And he just balks at him. He, it's like he's going to set him up for a big right foot in the inside, then does a goosey and drifts across to Munster. And Munster's trying to you know, protect the three on two. No, I'm sorry, he's trying to protect Bloor on the inside and just gets it right through to Liam Martin. As I said before, they're just so well syn- synchronised. And, you know, they, next year they're going for five in a row. They lose some terrific players, but, you know, Nathan's moving into his peak years, still only 26 years of age. Well, that play Matty's talking about, and Munster had a very big predicament because he, he didn't trust Bloor in that situation. And you can understand why, because Cleary was mm. that show and go, mm. and he was sort of in no man's land. He goes, oh, do I help Bloor or do I take my man, which is Liam Martin? He decided that he thought Bloor was burnt. In the end, Bloor actually makes the tackle him. just, yeah. just, right? So was, you can't blame Munster for it. But if he backs if he backs um, uh, his man Bloor, maybe... They hang on, but uh, it was great football. Hey, Matty, we've been saying this on the show for a long time. We don't know why it doesn't happen. So quite often you'll see any game of rugby league at any time, just watch the game, and you'll see a person do a hit-up, and one side comes up to make the tackle. The defensive side on the other side take the shortcut and retreat because they know they're off the hook. And Brian and I have been saying, well, why why don't you challenge both sides and get them both up on every play, you know, instead of letting them off the hook and getting an early start and going back? That's exactly what... Ivan did, they off mm. average about nine offloads. The changing of yeah. attack, yeah. They, they had 20-something offloads. Well, that's what yeah. they did. Both that, sides had to come up the whole game. They were gassed. You know that's how they train. They play that 20 touches game. That's a, it's a Granny Palmer rot. Is it? So before you finish training, it's rights versus lefts, and right. it's 20 touches. And you've got 
you've got to let the ball go. That's how, you know, that ad hoc sort yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah, so that's the way they finish their training love session. It. Yeah, it, w- it works because I remember you, you play some... I remember playing uh, a great Britain side, Fletch. We played them in 99 at Lang Park and we won, but, man, it was hard to play because they just played so unorthodox. There, there was no, like, sort of hit up, hit up, hit up, push. Like, sometimes it's like shifting the ball on tackle zero and just moving it around and you're going... Like, people that say you, d- you shouldn't walk in a game of football, I mean, that's, it's, it's crap. You, you need to find a time to just catch mm-hmm. your breath and, and walk. And oftentimes you're sitting up a short side or somewhere and you go, oh, I know the ball's going the other way. And you just start to walk and sure enough, they switch it back. <laughs> and it just keeps you on alert all the time. It, it, it gasses you because you just, you just can't walk. You just got to keep moving up. You got to keep moving. You're a nightmare to play against. Yeah, we just watched a replay of the NRLW grand final. Same thing, you go one side, the other team yeah. retreats. It'll change the game. I promise you next year, it'll change the game where they'll start going, which will be better yeah. for the game. They'll start going one side, engage them, go to the other side yeah. to engage them because you're letting defenders off the t- hook too easy. Out of 10, boys, I thought it was a great grand final. Uh, and given the circumstances, two of the best, I'll give it a nine. Uh, yes, it was. I'm going to give it plenty of highlights. Yeah, heaps plenty of, of highlight, highlights. Lots of highlights. I'm go- I'm going to go with you, sure. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. go because it was in the balance, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nine for me. Uh, nine. I'll, I'll give I'll give it a nine just because like because it was such such a great arm wrestle mm. and two sides are just who are waiting for each other to blink and just lose their nerve and and, and both sides really do and Howarth you know could have scored that try there, there was yeah quarter of an inch in that. But, yeah, I'll give it a nine. I mean, the grand finals that are remembered forever, like you talk about 89, 2015, 2023, are the tight finishes, yep. right? They're the ones you remember forever. Even though, like, if you talk about the Cowboys-Broncos game, you know, it, it wasn't the standard of this game, but it had just the incredible finish. Yep. But this game, as an 80 minutes, was, oh, was fantastic. Wow. There's always a player who, last year, Jesse Arthurs, I thought he was unbelievable, yep. plays the game of his life. What about some of those unsung heroes? Not so much in the be- the best side. Or what? I thought Nick Meany had a, the game mm-hmm. of his life. Yep. What, what do you think, mm-hmm. Matty? Yeah, yeah, mate. I, I thought he was. I thought I thought he was good, Nick. Um, you know, it's very easy to say he was playing for the Alamotti situation, but yep. you know, I'm not sure if it was Jerome or Nathan who threw threw Alamotti of the pass. It was just Jerome. picture perfect. Yeah, it was Jerome. He threw it exactly, not too early, not too late. Give Alamotti time, so he wasn't to blame for that. Yeah, I thought he was good. I th- Jack Howe set a tremendous back back end of the year. The eggs hatched. He, he was always a player of potential, but he'll uh, you know he's a centre at the moment. It wouldn't surprise me next year if he starts in the back row. That's his spot. But yeah, there's mate. They've certainly got a lot going for him. Trent Liero had a oh, really good season. Yeah, he's I, a bit like Jack. I thought he was really tough. I thought yeah. he had a he had a really good. He, game. He's a serious player. Yeah. But they just the Penrith blokes. The, the, oh, the, the way, Liam Henry, the, I love him. The way they cover in defence, because oh. we knew they were going to they were going to target yep. aerially, and yeah. what they did, they didn't bother even jumping up. Like Brian Toto just said, right, right. I know I'm I'm only three foot four, <laughs> and I'm playing, and he just held his ground. That yep. was what he did against Coates, to when he had tapped it mm. back. Like if he went up for for the ball, it was yep. just beautifully coached. I'll, oh. tell, I'll tell you what, boys. Too uh, Mount, the side that Mal's picked. I like the I, I like the side. I, I, there are some surprise selections and surprise omissions, but I, I can see what Mal's doing here. Mal's picked the side. I, I thought last year, when they lost, particularly that final against Kiwis, they were out enthused by the Kiwis. I think this time Mal's gone. I'm going to pick a younger side of blokes who are just going to be thrilled to be there. Yeah. Tommy Dearden's a, a good example. Dylan Brown, uh, Dylan Edwards, I think, gets his first chance at fullback. Mitchell Moses in at the seven. And, mate, young Lindsay Smith. A lot, lot of eyebrows raised, but, mate, he'll get in camp. Yep. And as far as wearing that jersey, he'll just say, mate, whatever it takes, I'll do whatever. So I, I think I think there's a lot of really smart selections there from Mal. What about oh. how they get rid of uh, – <laughs> it's amazing. So James Fisher Harris, international yep. prop forward. He's going over the Warriors. All of a sudden, in the space of less than 12 months, they get a, an Australian representative front rower <laughs> to take his spot I without know. even having to go on the market. No. I know. You know, they get it with, from within. It's Mate, just it's such remarkable. A, it's, such a strong, it's such a strong area. But, yeah, you know, like, boys, I, I said with, with Cooper on the podcast there, the thing I love most about this football side is what they've done 
for their for people in their local area, they transcend sport. For what they've done for people of young blokes in the western suburbs, young people in Mount Druitt, he's given they've given them so much esteem that they're just such a credit to the community. Can I, I ask? You, oh, sorry, you I, I, was, I was just going to say two things. Uh, Lindsay Smith, he'll play. He'll be in that Australian side for eight years. Yeah, yeah. he will. Mm, you you yeah. know that. And the second thing is. Whatever the coach, you've got to pay them whatever they want. The coach mm. is everything in the game. In the last eight years, we've had it's 17 teams now. Salary cap era, you lose players, you lose kicker, you lose Appy. It'll be fascinated to see Ivan Cleary pick an all-time Panther side. Who he gives oh. the dummy half? Does he go Appy or Kenny? Yeah. Different attributes. But coaching is everything. It's abs- you could, I said this before, Matty, where you could do a big shuffle, put every coach into a hat, and they've got to go to another club. Within five yep. years... Bellamy's still winning, Cleary's still winning, yeah. and it, th- that's what Mate. happens. Mm. You, you need the coach. Mate, get, give me a great coach and a great halfback, yep. and you can take a team near the bottom and win the comp. Yep, yep. Um, now, the most important thing, what do we think of the kid, the kid Leroy? Oh, mate, he was awesome. Yeah, Ooh. I thought he was good. I thought I thought he was I thought he was fantastic. I thought it was so smart from the NRL. Brings in a, a younger audience, to bring in sort of younger audience and people who are fringe watchers of the game. Some people aren't, even aren't into the game. But would have watched the grand final because of that. And I thought it was mate. I thought that the mix of songs, particularly the last one, which appealed to everyone, never tear us oh, apart. I thought he was good. brilliant. If I could go back in time, I want to come back as Kid Leroy. The How kid. cool was he? Yeah. I'll fire a shot at the AFL and say he's better than Katy Perry. Well, <laughs> well at least he sang. Stay measured, Matty. Oh, at, at least he Watch sang. Watch lip sync. Yeah, yeah, she's a sinker. Oh, mm. no. Her and Ashley it's Simpson. Up there with the time slash. Maybe yeah. he uh, air guitar. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. That was a good he, chat. He's, I enjoyed uh, that. He's from Victoria too, they reckon, slash. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed that. We didn't get to everything, Matty, but uh, we've got to run, mate. Uh, we appreciate Good on that. You, lads. Enjoy the off season.